Hey guys, so today I'm back in my car again. Again, I hope that sooner than later I'll have a better setup. But today I wanted to talk about what Pakoki is, my username. Um, a lot of people ask me what Pakoki is because I use Pakoki for a lot of things, even outside of YouTube. Um, I use it for all of my social media. I use it for my email. Um, just basically everything. Um, and I made sure to put Pakoki as all of my social media so it's easier to um, find everything and it's more like, I guess, I can't think of the word right now. Streamlined. Um, anyways, so I guess I'll tell the story about Pakoki and how it came to be. So back in, I think it was 2007 or 2008, whenever the Wii came out, um, my sister got a Wii for Christmas, so that must have been 2007, because I was in 8th grade. Um, my sister got a Wii for Christmas, and it was super fun. Um, and I got the game My Sims. If you're not familiar with My Sims, it was, I don't know if they have it for any other gaming system, maybe they do, but it was a Wii game that was based off of Sims, but it wasn't exactly Sims. It was more of like cutesy little characters and the premise of the game, if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't played in like, I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> maybe eight years at least. Um, basically, you you either create the character first or the town first. I'm gonna just say the character. You create a character. Again, it's like a cutesy little character and you can name them whatever you want. And then you have a town and you name the town. And then basically you're kind of the designer for the town and the builder for the town. So you go around and you help people build things, design things for their houses or what, or their businesses, whatever it is. And then you collect different essences. I think that's what they were called. Um, like for example, if you're looking for wood, you go to certain types of trees and they'll give you different woods. Or like, I think there was a fruit one probably flower, stone, all different types of stuff. So basically it's kind of more of a cutesy little game and you build relationships with the characters as well. Anyways, going back to the name of the town, for one of my games, I, I think I had me as the character. So I made like myself into a My Sims character. And then I wanted to think of something that was cute for a name for the town, but also something that was unique. Um, and so I decided to just think of random words or things that were significant to me and combine them together. So at the time, I had Pumpkin, my cat, who's now 16. Um, I guess at the time he was five, four, he was a lot younger than he is now. Um, and if you're, if you watch any of my videos, that's the big orange cat. He's Pumpkin. So I had Pumpkin as my cat, and then I had two dogs, Coco and Cookie. Coco was a poodle that we ended up having to give away when I was in my sophomore or junior year of high school because she was just she had an incident when she was younger where she was attacked by I think it was a boxer and she was never the same after that and she was very aggressive and used to like be very vicious so we ended up having to give her away um but Cookie um a lot of my friends know Cookie especially in Georgia because Cookie was such a little feisty sweet chihuahua she was a dear chihuahua um she, at her death, she was three pounds, so she was a very tiny chihuahua, black, white, and like a tan color, and she was super sweet. So those were my pets, Pumpkin, Coco, 
and Cookie. And I was like, what if I combine all of their names into one word? So I used P-U of pumpkin, C-O of cocoa, and K-I-E for cookie. And I combined it into a word and I pronounced it pa ko -ki. So that's the phonetic spelling is pa ko -ki. And yeah, that was basically why Pakoki came about. And so from then on, I used it for my email. Um, I used it for any of my usernames, all of that stuff. So Pakoki became synonymous with me um, to the point that even my senior year of high school, when we had senior shirts, one of my senior shirts, which this is a whole separate topic, was Bella Swan because I was obsessed with Twilight and people, some of my friends were like, oh, you look like Kristen Stewart, you're kind of like Bella or like kind of act like her or whatever. But now I laugh at that because it's like, mm, I don't really have the same, well, I don't know. I can appreciate the books. The movies are okay, but not, a, not the biggest Twilight fan like I was before. Um, definitely more Harry Potter. But the other one was Pakoki. That was my other senior shirt. And I believe I have both of those senior shirts still. At my school, at my high school, we had senior shirts that said, I graduated in 2012. So it had a 12 on the back. And then at the front, the back of the um, senior shirt, at the top above the 12, it had the name. So for one, again, I had... Bella Swan and then the other one was Koki and then on the front it said senior senior anyways um and then when I was coming up with what I would name a channel which I made this channel in 2012 um actually I think it was my I think I made this channel my freshman year of college either that I'd have to look at the date. I either made it my senior year of high school or my freshman year, the first semester of my freshman year of college. Either way, I made it with the intention that I was going to make college-related videos. I never did. I actually would love to make some college-related videos because I feel like I may have some insights or advice for people about college. But yeah, that was basically it. I knew that I wanted to eventually have a YouTube channel called Pakoki. So I made the channel. Um, so yeah, if anybody ever asks what Pakoki is, or if you see a comment that's like, how do you pronounce that? Or something like that, just write Pakoki. So that's basically it. And here we are today. Um, definitely not at that, at that time when I created this channel, I never thought that I would be doing personality related content. Um, because I wasn't as much into the personality stuff. I really wasn't into it at all. But here we are and yeah. So obviously if you want to find me on social media, you can easily find me. If you type in Pakoki into Google, I'm basically, well, there probably is other people too, but Pakoki is pretty, I think it's an, an unusual search. I don't know if there's anybody else named Pakoki. So there's no, I think it becomes embarrassing sometimes because now I'm more in the professional setting and like I said, I use that Pakoki email for a lot of things. I have a few actually, but Pakoki is what I use most of the time. And I think a lot of people look at that and they're like, how, what is this? Like, they may think it's like Pakaki or, I don't know, Panuki, Patu whatever um, they think it is. So they may think it's kind of weird, but I should probably have like an Emily Barnes email. Um, but whatever. I really like that word, even though it's not like a real word. And... It just makes me happy every time I see it. Um, 
and just the significance. It's to me, it's kind of like a little bit of a time capsule, in a word. And I'm, I don't know. Like I'm glad that I made that word as opposed to something else, because had I not made that word, um, who knows what would be. But it's just very significant to me, and I really, I don't know. I just like it, and. Again, it's kind of weird, but yeah. I mean, my name is Emily. For those of you that may think my name's Pakoki, no, my name is Emily Elizabeth Barnes. Maybe I shouldn't say my full name, but whatever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty, pretty basic white girl name. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I know this, this is an interesting video, but if you're ever curious and or if you know anybody that's ever curious, just direct them to this video and they will have it clarified. All right. Have a great day and I love you guys. Again, I'm starting a new series. I kind of wrote it in the comment on my last video, but I'm starting a new series called Ask Emily. So you can actually either email me questions um, comment questions or if you want to be anonymous again you can email me direct message me on Instagram whatever you want um, and if you just say that you want to be anonymous so I don't mention you um, because I know sometimes I want to ask people things but I don't really want people to know what I ask them or like I don't want everybody else to know what I ask them so I understand if you want to be anonymous and yeah um, sorry if my eyes are kind of looking about I'm filming off of my iPhone again because I didn't charge my batteries but yeah so have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye